Hello friends, this is Dulu Gautam and welcome to you in our YouTube channel Interview Pond. So in this video, I am gonna discuss about food concept in C sharp. Okay, so now let's get started. So this is the most important concept in C sharp. So for every developer, you should know food concept. Without food concept, you cannot achieve internet if you cannot create a web application or any application. Okay. So it is the most important to understand the food concept. So now first in this video I am going to discuss about the introduction. So what is the requirement we have to learn for uh, OOPS concept? Okay. So OOPS OOPS is a design philosophy or we can say it is a techniques. Okay. So it is stand for object oriented programming. So Oops, oops is nothing but we can see it is a object oriented programming but what is the meaning of S, S is nothing but we can say it is a system but basically it is a object oriented programming ok so object oriented programming uses a different set of programming languages than old procedural programming languages like C, Pascal and other languages ok so hence you gain reusability by means of four main here four main object oriented programming concepts. Okay. So below are the object oriented programming concepts. So actually there are four concepts, but four, or not only four. So first one is class, second one is object, third one is instance, constructor, method. So this is the most important concept to understand uh, OOPS concept better. Okay, so in, we can say uh, in, actually there are four concepts encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polyomorphism. So by using these four concepts we can achieve OOPS concept. So, OOPS. Okay, so for understanding these concepts these are the most important to understand. So first we will discuss about this this concept after that I will move to the this concept ok so don't miss to watch my next video on this series ok so first now understand so what is the encapsulation so encapsulation means that a group of related properties method and other members are created as a single unit or object ok so encapsulation is a mechanism of Binding the data members, member and member function into a single unit known as a class. So, here is a class. Class is the best example of encapsulation. Okay. So, encapsulation provides a way of abstraction in object oriented programming. The encapsulation is mainly achieved by creating the classes. Okay. The classes expose public methods. And properties, the class is kind of a container of carefully capsule. So you know capsule. So cap encapsulation words come from the capsule. So or a cell which encapsulates the set of methods, attributes, and properties to provide its intent functionalities to the other classes. Okay. So now come to the next concept is abstraction. So what is the abstraction? So abstraction is a mechanism to provide the essential features without describing the background details. Okay, so we can say it's a function in our class, in our object oriented programming, or we can say in our C sharp language, the function or method. These are the best example of abstraction. Okay, this is all about hiding the complexity and providing the set of interfaces to consuming the system. If I will take a real time example, then we can say if we have a mobile ok so mobile what we can do we can send a message we can call to someone so we what we know we know how to dial a number how to call someone and how to send a message to someone but internally the functionality we don't know so it is come under the abstraction ok now the next concept is inheritance so inheritance enables you to create a new class that reuses, extends and modifies the behavior that is defined in 
another class. Okay. The class whose members are inherited is called a base class, and the class that inherited inherits those members is called the derived class. So we can say here base class is nothing but our parent class, and derived class is nothing but we can say here it is a child class. However, all the classes in Shita implicitly inherit from the object class. Object is nothing but it is here. In our uh, C sharp language, object is the base class for all the classes. Okay, so object class that supports .NET class hierarchy and provide low level services to the classes. Okay, so this provides the reusability by creating the parent child relationship between the classes. Okay, so the next concept is polymorphism. It is also the most important. So, polymorphism means one thing in many forms. Okay, as you can see the name, poly means many, morphine means forms. Okay, so basically polymorphism is capability of one object to behave in multiple ways. Okay, behaving in different ways depending upon the input received is known as polymorphism. So this is the simple definition, behaving in different ways different, depending upon the input received is known as polymorphism. Okay, so this is the best uh, uh, simple uh, we can definition. So if we will take an uh, example, suppose a man who changes at home, college and after the home. Suppose I am an employee of some company, but for my parents I am a child, but for my child I am the father. So according to this, I can change my role. Okay, so this is the best example for polymorphism. Okay guys, so in this video I have discussed all the concepts. So these all the concepts I have dis I will discuss in the next video. So don't forget to watch my next video. Okay friends, and if you have if you till now did not subscribe my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel or don't forget to hit this this bell icon because if you will not hit this bell icon, you will not get notification. Okay. So when I will upload a new video, you will get notification for that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel, Interview So this is my Facebook page. You can follow me on my Facebook page. This is my blog. All the most important uh, concepts are available in this blog. Most important interview questions are also is there. So.